Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to be on EDM 6.5 and we're going to be working with data in line plots. Now basically what that means is that we're going to use line plots to answer and solve problems. So you are going to need Math Journal page 208, 209 and as you'll be able to see on page 208 you'll see animal height line plots. Now the first one is on emperor penguins. We have one on chimpanzees, and we have the heights of red kangaroos as well. Now, if you look at page 209, what you'll see is that basically we are going to choose one of those animals. We're going to figure out all the information about that line plot, and we are going to answer questions based on the information that we find in the line plot. So for um, the purpose of today, what we're going to do is let's work with chimpanzees, okay, because they're cute. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the line plot for chimpanzee heights, and this is measured in inches, so that's important to know. So what we can see, um, just basically looking at that, we can see that the the smallest chimpanzee we have recorded at 53 inches. And there's three of them there. And we can see that our tallest chimpanzee came in at 63 inches over here. Now we can also see that the X's represent each chimpanzee. So if we were to count, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we know that we're dealing with 18 chimpanzees. So one of the first things I like to do when we look at these is to go ahead and um, figure out uh, what we're looking at. So if we go to page 209, let's start filling in the information. It says to use the data in the line plot on match on page 28 to find the typical height of a, and we chose chimpanzee. So that's what we're gonna end up writing right there on that line because that's what we chose. So let's put chimpanzee. Okay, and this says answer the questions to help you find the animal's typical height. So we want to figure out the typical height of a chimpanzee. Show your work in space below. What is the combined total of all the measurements shown on your animal's line plot? Wow, okay, what is the combined total of all the measurements? So what we're going to have to do here is we are going to have to add up all 18 chimpanzee heights. And so the way I like to go about this is to look at these in each column and then break up the columns and then add those up. So for example, if I'm looking at this, I know I have one, two, three chimpanzees that are at 53 inches. So if I take my 53 inches times three, because there's three X's, I would get a total of 159. So what I like to do is right above that 159, because I know that's my total for that section. Now I only have one here, one chimpanzee. Well, let's see, it's between 53 and 54, so that would be 53 and a half. So 53 and one half, that would be my total for that one. Let's go over here to 56. As you can see, we have two chimpanzees that were measured 56 inches. So if we take 56 times two, that would give us 112. So I'm gonna put 112 above that column. We have one coming in at 56 and a half because 56, 57, that would be 56 and one half. So we have one Okay, so look here, we have 58 inches, we end up having two chimpanzees. So if we have 58 inches and there's two that are coming in at that height, that would be a total of 116 inches. So I'm gonna put 116 above there. Uh, so we have another one here is our next one. And as we can tell, it's between 58 and 59. So that would give us 58 and a half, very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that there. All right, uh, next one is right here in the middle once again. So we have between 59 and 60. Yep, so that would give us 59 and one half inches. 
All right, so if we look here between 60 and 61, that would be 60, 60 and a half, right? Now we have one, two, three of those that would be 60 and a half. So we have 60.5 because it's 60 and a half, but times three because we have three of them. So what we need to do is just multiply that out. And when we do, we get 181.5. Now, if you're not sure how to multiply with decimals yet, so let me go ahead and write that down right here first. And if you can't do that, one of the things you can do is just off to the side, you could put 60.5 plus 60.5 plus 60.5 and add those up because each one of those would be 60.5. And you can add that up. And when you do 5, 10, 15, carry the one if you bring your one down and we know that six times three is 18. So we would end up getting the same total. So either way, okay? All right, we have 62 as our next one and we have two chimpanzees that are 61 inches. So 61 times two, that would give us 122 right here. Go ahead and circle that because I know that's my next measurement. Then once again, we have one here at 62 and one half. And then we have one more chimpanzee that came in at 63 inches. Okay, so one of the things that I like to do is to go through and just get the um, answer for each one of the columns. And then if I need the total combined height, now I can just take these numbers going across and just add those up, and then I can get the total combined height. Now, to if I would add all these up, and yes, you can use a calculator for that if you want to, but if I would add all those up, the total or the sum would end up being 1,044 inches altogether, okay? So, just to speed up things on here. So we'll say that I've added all these up and I get 1,044 inches. So let's look at the next thing we have here. It says, what is the total combined height of all the measurements shown on the line plot? Well, 1,044 inches, good. So let's look at the next question. It says, how many data points are shown on the line plot? Well, we actually figured that out earlier. Do you remember how many chimpanzees we said we had? I remember in each, chimp each chimpanzee is represented by an X. So how many chimpanzees did we have? Yep, we had 18 all together. Okay, so now if we're looking at that, our next question on here would say, well, Write a number model that shows how to even out the data to find the typical height of your animal. So basically it says use your answers in problem one and problem two. And remember, if we're finding out the evening out strategy, that usually that also means we're trying to find the mean of the data. And one of the things that I like to say about the mean is the mean is the mean one. It makes you do the work. You add up every penny and divide it by how many, okay? Mean is the mean one, it makes you do the work. You add up every penny and divide it by how many. So what we need to do is to figure out the mean or the typical or the evening out, we need to divide. So I'm going to end up taking 1,044 and divide it by 18 because that's how many I have. And what would be the answer to that? So if we went ahead and work that out, we would find that our answer is what? So let's go ahead and work this out. So let's divide. Can 18 go into 1? No. Can 18 go into 10? No. Can 18 go into 104? It can. About how many times do you think? Yeah, it would go in about five times. So if you're not sure how to do that, let's look, well, what is 18 times five? You can do a little bit of side work off to the side to figure that out. So five times eight would be 40, carry the four. Five times one is five, plus four would be nine. So that would end up being 90. So at this point we would subtract and we would get 14. 
And remember, we'd bring down the 4, and we're looking at 144. And how many times does 18 go into 144? Yep, it actually is 8 times. And that's actually even, because 18 times 8 would be 144. So that actually works out very evenly. So we have 58 would end up being our quotient, or our answer to the division problem. So it says... The typical height of a name of an animal, well, we were working with chimpanzee. Okay, is about, we figured out 58 inches. Okay, so let's look at the next part. It says, fill in the name of your animal and circle the word that completes the sentence based on what you found out. Okay, a typical chimpanzee. oops, sorry, is taller, shorter than a typical fifth grader. Well, let's figure this out. Now, um, in our previous lesson, one of the things that we had to do was figure out the height of a typical fifth grader. And so in our homeroom class, we did this. And what we found was that a typical fifth grader in our homeroom class this year was 59 and 2 thirds inches. Okay. That was the typical height. So we took all of the students in our class, we figured out their height to the nearest half inch, and then we divided it by how many were in our class, and we got a typical height of 59 and 2 thirds inches. So is a chimpanzee taller or shorter than a typical fifth grader? Sorry. Yeah, shorter. So a chimpanzee, a typical chimpanzee is 58 inches, and a typical fifth grader is 59 in my classroom this year. So a chimpanzee, typical chimpanzee would be shorter than a typical fifth grader. Now that's kind of interesting if we go back to our data set here because we said a typical chimpanzee is 58 inches. So if you look right here, this is kind of neat because we actually have two chimpanzees that are right on that typical height. Another thing we can see is who would be like under average. Okay, so we can see based on this information that we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that are under average. We can say that we can have two of our chimpanzees are right about average of the average chimpanzee. And we can also say that these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chimpanzees over here are above average in height. So that's more information that we can kind of see when we're looking at our line plot. So when we have a line plot, we can actually get a lot of information from that. And then if we're looking at a typical fifth grader, remember we were, what, about 59 and two thirds. So that's 59, that'd be 59 and a half. So we would be somewhere in here. So we can see that not all chimpanzees are going to be uh, shorter, okay, or smaller. Um, you can see that some are actually taller, just like in our classroom. So we actually, in this year in our homeroom classroom, we have a fifth grader that is 68 inches tall. So as you can see, he would even be off the chart where we came from chimpanzees as well. So that's kind of, that's kind of a fun information too. So yes, in lesson 6.5, What's fun about these is you can work with line plots. You can get lots of information from them and answer really good questions based on that information. But I would say one of the tricks to figuring this out and figuring out what it would equal all together is definitely add up each column and then go through and add up those, okay, those answers, because it makes it a whole lot easier than going 53 plus 53 plus 53 plus 53 and a half, okay, and going through the whole thing like that. This makes it a whole lot more organized. So once again, thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next lesson.